Hi students, we're starting dictation with our common dictation reminders. Remember that you should try to write as much as you can. Of course, you're not going to be able to catch every word from every sentence, and that's really okay if you can't catch all of the words. That's why you're here, is to improve your ability to listen and interpret spoken American English. Remember that we always practice the sentences multiple times. The first few times, you'll hear the sentences fast, using my reduced spoken American English. If you can't catch it, wait until the second practice, when we're going to be slowing the sentences down, using our more clear pronunciation, and then making comparison between the clear pronunciation and the reduced pronunciation of American English. Remember to be patient. This is a difficult skill to improve upon. Um, also remember that this isn't about speaking like me. This isn't a pronunciation activity. This is about adjusting your ear and improving your ability to listen to and interpret spoken American English so that you can easier, so that you can have an easier time understanding people um, at your child's school, at your work, at the grocery store. Are you feeling ready? Let's begin. Okay, today's dictation has six phrases. Three of them are questions and three of them are sentences. So at the end, you should have three question marks and you should have three with periods. Also, there's one specific piece that all six of these phrases are using. See if you can notice as you're going through the sentences, what's the common piece? What's the common reduction that each of these phrases has? All right, ready to start our first practice here? Come to number one. Did you find everything you wanted at the store? Did you find everything you wanted at the store? Did you find everything you wanted at the store? Did you find everything you wanted at the store? Number two. How could you do that to me? 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 Number three. I need you to give me five minutes. 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 Number four. What did you have to do last weekend? 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 Number five, I'm so glad she helped you. 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 And number six, our last one for today. I don't know what she told you, but it's not true. I 
I don't know what she told you, but it's not true. I don't know what she told you, but it's not true. I don't know what she told you, but it's not true. Now the end of number six, maybe you put a period and maybe you put an exclamation mark because there might be a lot of emotion inside of that sentence, um, arguing about whether somebody said something true or not. Let's come one more time back for each sentence. Again, do your best to catch as much as you can, but it's okay if you're not catching every word in every phrase. Number one, did you find everything you wanted at the store? Number two, how could you do that to me? Number three, I need you to give me five minutes. Number four, what did you have to do last weekend? Number five, I'm so glad she helped you. And number six, I don't know what she told you, but it's not true. Before we come to our review and explanation, remember to pause, take a minute to look back over your sentences, check your grammar, check your punctuation, and see if you can notice what is the common piece that's in all six of these phrases. All six of them are using a certain piece of reduced English. If you can notice, tell me in the comments. Okay, let's come together to check our sentences. Number one, did you find everything you wanted at the store? Did you find everything you wanted at the store? I hope you absolutely got the question mark at the end of it because this is a question. Did you find everything? You hear my did and you, this D and Y coming together to make this word of did ya, did ya? My two words are find and everything. The vowel at the beginning of everything pulls to a consonant. So we don't hear, did you find everything? You hear, did you find everything? They pull together. Did you find everything? Did you find everything you wanted at the store? Um, a few dictations ago, we had another sentence with wanted. I think it was, I got out of bed earlier than I wanted to today. I wanted to. I wanted to. Wanted. This T in the middle of wanted is held back. And I don't hear wanted at the store. I hear wanted. Wanted. Did you find everything you wanted at the store? Finally, with at and the, the T pulls together from the end of at and the beginning of the, and we hear at the, at, at the. Did you find everything you wanted at the store? Number two, how could you do that to me? How could you do that to me? Again, a question, so I hope you had the question mark at the end. I hope this one was an easier sentence. How could you? How could you? This D and Y pulling together to make the sound of J. How could you? And our word of to becoming this softer t, t. How could you do that to me? How could you do that to me? Come to number three. I need you to give me five minutes. I need you to give me five minutes. Again, the D and the Y coming together here for need you to become need ya, need ya. I need you to, I need you to. 
the strong t in two becoming this softer held back d and give me pulling together to become gimme i need you to give me five minutes i hope by this point you've seen the connecting thread the connecting string which is in each of these sentences a word that ends with d connected to the word you in number one it was did you did ya number two could you could ya this number three i need you i need ya in number four we have what what did you have to do what did you have to do what did you have to do last weekend and i hear what did you pulling together to make what did you have to becoming have to do last weekend this piece at the end is easier to hear again a question so we should have a question mark at the end of the sentence what did you have to do what did you have to do last weekend number five i'm so glad she helped you i'm so glad she helped you i'm so glad she helped you i am becoming i'm i'm so glad i'm so glad she helped you again the d pulling together to the y you don't see you don't hear helped you you hear helped you helped you and myself i go back and forth with this pronunciation sometimes i'll say helped you and sometimes helped you i'm so glad she helped you i'm so glad she helped you finally coming to number six I don't know what she told you, but it's not true. I don't know what she told you, but it's not true. Here our D and Y is on told and you, told you, told you, or told ya. I don't know what she told you. I don't know what she told you. I don't know, my I don't know, becoming I don't know. I don't know what she, what, what, you don't hear a strong what, you hear what, and held in at the end. I don't know what she told you, but it's, it is becoming it's, it's not true, it's not true. Or another way to reduce, another way to make the con connection here would be, it isn't true. I don't know what she told you, but it isn't true. One more time coming back to each sentence and listen again for this D and Y coming together to make the sound of J. Did you? Did you find everything you wanted at the store? How could you do that to me? I need you to give me five minutes. What did you have to do last weekend? I'm so glad she helped you. I don't know what she told you, but it isn't true. All right, that's the end of dictation for today. I hope I'll see you later. See you next time. How'd you do on this dictation? How'd you, how'd you do on this dictation? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know which one was the hardest for you, which one you'd like to practice a little bit more of, or let me know if they were all feeling easy for you too. It's always good to look at your success as well as your difficulties. Finally, my student told me I'm supposed to tell you, don't forget to like and subscribe below. Have a good day. Bye.